where we left off was the missing factor approach. That was the last thing we looked at. And so the next thing after the missing factor approach, um, which is we use in this next uh, situation that I want you to take a look at is this idea of division by zero. And so we learn in math class early on that um, zero divided by any number, looking at that right there, zero divided by any number equals zero and so the question why is that the case so looking at the situation using the missing factor approach to kind of think about this we know from the missing factor approach that if a divided by b equals c right then a is equal to b times c again for the missing factor approach um, we can say if 30 divided by 5 we know 30 divided by 5 equals 6. That's the same thing as saying 30 is equal to 5 times 6, right? So we know that from the missing factor approach, that relationship. So in this case here, if we say that 0 divided by, so if we know that 0 divided by A, what is that equal to, right? That's a question. I'm saying, I don't know what that equals. It's 0. If that's true, then what we also then know with that question mark then we know that zero is equal to a times that question mark and so what should that question mark be so looking at this situation here what would that question mark be that only leads to the conclusion that the question mark equals zero and so in this case zero divided by anything is zero and so then that leads to um, another uh, more confounding question of this idea of dividing by zero. You may have heard again, you can't divide by zero. You can't divide by zero in any math class. It's, a, it's you're breaking the rules. And here's the reason why. You have two situations to kind of explain that. Here's the first one, right? Um, they're contradictory statements. So that's why it's an undefined. We can't divide by zero. It's undefined. Why? Why is that? So let's look at a divided by zero, right? where a is not equal to zero. So if a divided by zero equals c, right, then a is equal to zero times c, um, or a equals zero. Therefore, again, but a can't be equal to zero. We just said a can't be equal to zero, so it's undefined. Another way to think about that is, again, if a divided by zero, what is that equal to? Let's say we don't know, so we put a question mark. Then that means that a is equal to zero times some question mark right over here same uh, reasoning that we have same reason that we had up above here and so what should the question mark be in this case the question mark can be any number it could be one zero times one is zero zero times two is zero so again looking at this piece here this could be any number um, in this because in terms of if a divided by equal question mark we have this uh, unique situation here where we have multiple answers that uh, represent that. And again, thinking about this here, using any number we get zero, but we knew from this initial situation that a can't be equal to zero because zero divided by zero, um, we don't have a definition for that. So, so therefore, we can't have that we have an undefined result here another way to think about it is case two here um, zero divided by zero right where in this case a is equal to zero right so in that case if that's true um, does it equal one does it equal two does it, so if zero divided by zero equals one what that means is zero is equal to zero times one we also can say well that seems reasonable well let's look at if we say zero divided by zero equals two and that also holds true here, which, again, we have a contradiction because we have three statements that are holding here for this one here. We have to say it's undefined because zero divided by zero can't be all of these here. So, again, that's our discussion on div uh, division by zero. You can't have, you have, this, uh, you have this contradiction that it equals to all of that, all of those three values.